Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Mars First Logistics. Now in this game you play as a Mars rover. Look how cool the graphics are. Look we leave a trail behind us and everything. So as we drive across the planet you'll be able to see exactly where we've been. It was a face, by the way, you disgusting viewers. But essentially, as we drive around Mars, we get given different contracts. So if we head into the map, you can see our first contract. We need to deliver a watering can from the habitat to the greenhouse. So if we head to that blue symbol, that is where the watering can is stored. We got to deliver it to the yellow symbol over there. So here we are. We have arrived at the watering can. However, how are we going to get it over there? Well, we edit our vehicle. Now, the more we play, the more we unlock different parts, the more they cost. So doing contracts gives us more money to spend. Thankfully for this first one, we have a pre-built that we can use. So essentially with this, we can just lower that a bit, shove it right in there, lift it up. And then we have a vehicle that we can transport the watering can. Because over here, we're going to need water in these lovely hydroponic greenhouses because we need to keep the trees clean and speaking of being clean this video is sponsored by manscape.com are you still using your bare hands to wash yourself this is not engineered to clean but this oh, this yeah. is this is the manscaped body buffer a handheld exfoliator brush designed to clean yourself properly Ooh, and look a cheeky preview oh wow oh wow Sorry, Paddy, this might actually be more fun to stroke than you are. Sorry, boy. So out of the pack, it looks like this. It's an antibacterial silicone scrubber, which is way more hygienic than a washcloth or luther or this useless thing. Mostly down to these bristles. Oh, look at them. Look at them. And if you get it as part of the buff bundle, it also comes with two bottles of ultra premium body wash infused with aloe vera and sea salt. It comes in these absolutely huge bottles with an easy to dispense lid. Oh yeah, that sounds good. And you can get 20% off plus free shipping if you head to manscaped.com and use code RealCivilEngineer. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using code RealCivilEngineer. Cheers for supporting the channel, but let's get back to Mars. But anyway, we deliver the watering counter there. We earn some funds. We earn a new contract. So we are here. We got to go over there to get a crate. So we head over this direction. And as we arrive, oh no, the crate is on a shelf. And this time there's no blueprints that can help us. So we're going to have to engineer this ourselves. So to start off with, let's remove from there, I think. Then I want to rotate that so it's flat-ish. I'm going to want a servo somewhere, probably like that, because that allows us to rotate. So if I shove another block on top and a claw out the front of it, then I can see, oh wow, we are nowhere near high enough. We need to build way taller. So you add another one of them and probably another one. And then we have this, which means if we drive this into like that sort of position, then I can just spin that to knock it off the shelf. Then we go back into the builder menu, rebuild this thing. Then hopefully if we shove our thing in that hole. <laughs> easy does it. Easy does it. Then we can lift up. And nice. Now we have a box on our head. So we take this back to where it's needed. And then we get more parts, blueprints, and some funds. So the new contract has a crate of oranges which needs moving. So they are over this way, presumably made by our crate and our water. They made the oranges. They put the oranges in the crate. Um, I sort of thought like a fruit would perish in the in the void of space, like on Mars's atmosphere. Don't they need oxygen to like not rot? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. This vehicle has two sets of hydraulics, so you can see we can switch between them like that. So we've either got that front one, which allows us to open and close the pincers, and this back one, which raises and lowers the entire thing. So I guess we start by widening that, seeing if it's wide enough to get the entire crate. Yes, it is. So then we can close it so we grab it and switch to that one and raise it up. And then we are on our way going in, going in the wrong direction. It's over this way. Now, since there's hills and stuff and these are oranges, you can see if I like move about, there's physics, physics of the oranges. We don't want to spill any. So we've got to plan our route carefully. And in the map, if you zoom like way in, can you see there's actual contours? So thankfully, the, the route we're driving now is completely, completely flat. But some of these other routes... They're going to be really steep. The closer the contours are together, the steeper the terrain is. Still, oranges are over here. Ah, oh, I remember these guys because I played this. I think I played the, the demo of this maybe. And uh, I tried to run these guys over, but they're very, very fast with their jetpack. Still, I've got oranges for you guys. And that allows them to continue building. 
Ooh, a crane. Now, it seems as well as main contracts, there's also some side jobs as well. So I can see over here, there's a pretty simple, just move some supplies. Terrain looks flat, so this should be easy. All right, there we go. Squeeze that together. Lift it up. Drive it over this way. And look, it's nighttime. There's full day and night cycles on this planet. But yeah, anyway. Ooh, look, look. This box, we've got to get it up there. The question is, how high can we... Oh, we can't actually go any higher. So we're going to need a vehicle in order to lift this up properly. So what I'm thinking, we delete all of that stuff. We delete that on the front. And then I feel like we're going to need two hydraulic cylinders in order to get the height. So I essentially need to make like a forklift, I guess. So if we shove those two on there, I think I'll probably need to lose some of the back wheels just so I have more parts. Because essentially we need that on the top, then another one out the front. Then we can use these connectors because they span quite a large area to go down like that. So looking at that, that's probably too close. Yeah, let's move it forward one. So we end up with that. Let's then get something that can that can hold it. And I reckon a claw out the front probably will do it. But uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to rotate it. So we'll shove one of these servo motors on the side down there. If I do that sort of thing, then I can shove the, the claws on the front like that and that. And then let's see... Is this thing going to work? So if we just reverse and then get that pointing down like that. I'm hoping we can just slide under. Oh, no. Get out the way, cloud. Let's go at this with some speed. Ready? All right. Yes, we're under. We are under. Although, no. <laughs> We've wedged it under the shelf. Oh, this is a disaster. I'm literally trapped. I'm literally trapped. I think I've only got myself to blame for this. Anyway, I've saved that as a saved vehicle. Let's find another vehicle that we can we can get it out with. All right, okay, I've got this. I got this. I think this is going to work. So it's a bit front right heavy, but it will be fine. It will be fine. We basically just got to guide that into there. Boosh, extend. That's it. Then extend the front one. Okay, now it's out of there. So then we can swap back to this thing, which has the turning circle of a boat. Push it over this way. And then we should be able to push this against that computer. So, ready? Charge! Ow. I'm pretty sure this will work. <laughs> this is probably driver error at this stage. I'm pretty sure this is how NASA would solve this problem, though. Right, okay. Just like that, we are sort of underneath. So, if I can... If I can not mess this up... Very carefully... <gasps> no, no, no! Oh, you knob! No! <laughs> I mean, what if I change my servo down here to go that way around? And maybe with pincers, I can just grab it. No, my grip's not big enough. And the trouble is I'm out of parts. Although I can, I can just buy some for 10. I got 150 funds. The easiest way would be to buy another servo motor, but that's 160. I've only got 150. Yeah, sod it. Let's buy some more of these. So then I can make my grip wider. Oh, I'm failing so bad at this. All right, okay. From this angle, surely, surely. No. <laughs> All right, what about this? I got the, the grippers on the side. Maybe the grippers actually add grip. So if we add that down there and then pinch, then yes. Yes, we've actually got it. But it's nowhere near high enough. Why do you have to be like this game? Why can't we all just get along? Anyway, I'll go and deliver this step ladder. This game hates me. All right, really should have planned my route. There's um, there's a lot of hills and jumps and stuff. Whoa! But it's fine. That's delivered. That gets us more funds. Then we can do the steel beam, which to be fair, it's got it's got a hole in it. That's a very unusual steel beam. But I reckon if we just penetrate that. Oh yes. Look how perfectly balanced we are. Right there we go. There we go. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. But I can do this in one of two ways. I can go very, very gentle like that, which will take a long time, but I know that I'm being careful. Or I can try and make it take the least amount of time possible, therefore reducing risk. So, power! Come on! Oh, should have seen that coming. I reckon, though, if we just do a little bit of, a little bit of that with the wheels, with that on the end... Then just got to line my thing up with that hole. All right, there we go. And we got a longer arm, which means we can shove it right down there. And because we got a bigger wheelbase, we should be a lot more stable. Oh, this could actually work. Oh, just got to mine the rocks. 
Oh man, this is actually genius. Fair play, Matt. Fair play. Sometimes you come out with the good ideas. So we deliver this to the crane. I think they're building like a new building here. So that goes in there. They continue building. Then I get funds. A new contract to go get a telescope mirror. And if you look on here, can you see it's down a very steep hill? These, these contours are very close together. So ideally, I want to go like where the contours are furthest apart. So probably that way rather than straight down there. So if we look to my right. Oh man. Oh man. That's literally a cliff. But the contours sort of showed, yeah, down here, not as steep. You can see, though, just how steep it is. So it looks like here, this is the laboratory. This is where the telescope is. Oh, man, how are we going to pick that up? I mean, I could try that. I, I guess it could work. All right, let's see if we can make it up this hill. Oh, this is easy. This is easy, mate. Wait, where am I? Where am I delivering this to? Oh, look, look, there's a button here. There's a button. Oh, we're going up in a lift. Oh, and then the telescope goes in the telescope. That makes sense. Uh, probably should have faced like the right direction. Let me just do a 10 point turn. Here we go. Delivered. So now the building is transformed into a working telescope. Looks very efficient there, by the way. And we get new blueprints and a load of new parts. Hopefully we can use those parts to finish that pesky one we couldn't do. Anyway, let's have a look at our new parts. We've got an all-terrain wheel rather than a rover wheel. We got some tubes. 30 degree connector and a plate. I'm not sure that's going to help me, but what is it going to help me? I've got 550 funds so I can get more servo motors. Let's buy another one of those and maybe another hydraulic as well. But then we use the clamps. So hopefully if I've done this the right size, our wheels should be wider than the crate. And if I switch to that one, I can make that wider as well, which means, yep, we can, we can get around the crate like that. Are we high enough? Yes. Okay, so now we clamp that together, swap to those hydraulics. And then as we go up, because we got the wider wheels, we're good. Oh, it's not quite tall enough. Oh, I've still got two servos. I've still got two servos. Okay, we're saved. We're saved because I can literally shove a servo there. Well, same on this side, actually. So we're in the same situation. But this time, if we swap to these servos, we can like tilt our wheels back. And look, now we can just about get the, the front of the crate under it. Oh, does that not count? Does that really not count? Come on, that's got to be up. Come on, get in. Get in the box. I don't understand how this level is defeating me. I can buy one more servo. I can't afford a hydraulic. All right, okay, I have an idea of what I can do with my extra servo. <laughs> this is it. This is the vehicle. All right, so that goes up like that. We drive it onto there. And then we swap to this server up the top and swing that forwards. Then if we slightly let go of the crate, we can then plonk it forward. And yes, we've done it. I had 130 quid. I spent like 500 getting it done. But still, that technically worked, which means the vehicle gets saved in slot two. Boosh. All right. So meanwhile, all these other things are like they're miles away. They're like way in the distance. Part of the map we haven't even explored yet. But if we do this rocket fin one, we get something called an ore hauler as a part. So let's go do that. So we're going to drive this new buggy that I unlocked as a blueprint. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Okay, it's actually quite slow. Fair enough. I thought it was decent. Looks fast, but it isn't. Sort of like my Poly Bridge Land Speed Record car. <laughs> Man, this thing is actually miles away. And this vehicle is slow and terrible at navigating bumps. I can at least see where the building is now. Oh, my goodness. That is a cliff. What are those people doing? Oh, this is a side job called potatoes. I'm going to ignore this, but um, <laughs> I do just like making the people jump. Right, unfortunately, there is a max build limit. I'm wondering, though, what is that actually based around? So I can still build backwards. If I just add loads to the back. Do we think it's where this is? Is that like the... I assume that's the center of the thing. Yeah, so I don't think I can move that. And that's how our limit works. I was wondering if I move the wheels back to here... And I've got a really long pokey vehicle. And I can see, can I actually poke him? Or is he gonna... Oh! Okay, that was actually close. I reckon I might be able to poke him if I get a bit of speed up. All right, ready? Die, Mr. Man. Oh, he's so fast! Hmm, I swear I got close to that. What if I go over here and then I press reset? Oh, he just stays up in the air. Fine, fine. I'll leave you alone. All right, we're back in the buggy. Making progress. Oh, wait. Signal weak. Extend your signal by discovering new transmitters. Oh, do I have to go to those things? Oh, it's 1.7 kilometers away. Still, it's now discovered. 
which means the map has opened up. Oh, it's a Ubisoft game in disguise. I had no idea. So we can head back to this thing. That's where we've got to get the item to. It's, ooh, it's the wind tunnel. Yeah, you can see delivery. It wants the rocket fin. And that is up this way. So we've got to build a vehicle to pick that up. What? How are we going to pick that up? I tell you what, what if we go with something like that? And the plan is I sort of scoop it up and then get it like resting on there. And I probably want to scoop it from this side. So we'll go under like that. All right, there we go. We sort of grab that end. Can I grab this end as well? Sort of. <laughs> Looks like a Santa hat, but I think I actually have it. Oh, no, the end's touching. Oh, poop. I love how there's someone like up there in the glass. I'm just trying to get on with his work. Meanwhile, it's me completely... <laughs> <laughs> completely bottling this. Right, however, I think that's sort of what I wanted to do. I think we have it now. So let's just very carefully try and get it out of here without touching it on the walls. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, it fell off. <laughs> All right, sod this. I'm just going to push it. Sod it. If I can just boost it down the hill, it should just slide down, right? It'll be fine. I'm no different to any other delivery company. I didn't have the word fragile on, so it's fine. I can just get it up this hill, which is going... No! Why? Why would you go down there? Right, ignore all the tracks everywhere. I've definitely just done this first time nice and simply. But we're just going to gently push it up. Power! Oh, you knob. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Just be gentle. Oh, that's actually what I wanted this whole time. Okay, so now boost the button. Oh, my goodness. We've been flapped up into the air. Ah. <laughs> But we've done it. We've got a new blueprint and a load of new parts. And we're falling to our doom. And we have an iron ore contract. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. It's sort of like um, Trail Maker's campaign. But uh, all the different parts you collect like add so much to the gameplay. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed, boost the like button. But for now, I'll say peace, love. And I don't think I'm cut out for NASA. Bye, guys.